example, we're going to start with the Pythagorean theorem. That Remember, that's uh, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And we're going to try to prove the Pythagorean identity sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to 1. So the way we'll do that is let x be an angle. And let's draw x on the unit circle. The reason I'm drawing it on the unit circle is because, remember, the definition of sine and cosine is the x and y coordinates of that angle. So if we draw x on the unit circle, the hypotenuse has length 1, and the x coordinate of that point, remember, is the cosine of x. And the y coordinate is the sine of x. Now, what we have here is a right triangle. And we're allowed to use the Pythagorean theorem. We're given that, and we're going to use that and try to prove the Pythagorean identity. So the Pythagorean theorem says that in our right triangle, by the Pythagorean theorem, Let me draw my right triangle a little bigger. There's x, there's 1. This is cosine x. This is sine of x. By the Pythagorean theorem, one side squared, let me, draw, let me write that first of all as cosine x squared, plus the other side squared is equal to 1 squared. That's the length of the hypotenuse. But then if we just do a little semantic cleaning up here, 1 squared, of course, is just 1. Cosine x squared, the common uh, notation for that is cosine squared x plus sine squared x is equal to 1. So we've just derived an equation. And look, this is the Pythagorean identity. So what we've done is we started by assuming the Pythagorean theorem, and then we used the Pythagorean theorem to derive the Pythagorean identity. Let's see an application of that 